Thousands of people in Balata refugee camp bid farewell to three Palestinians killed by Israeli forces during a major military operation. It was a difficult night for many. Residents recount their experiences to researchers and rights organizations, but they tell us the world isn't paying attention. Nida Abu Shalal has four children and is expecting a fifth in June. Now she's homeless. She shows us what's left of her family's house. We couldn't save our belongings, our clothes or anything. My girls are crying about their books, school uniforms and school bags. We lost everything. Nida says she grabbed her children and ran as soon as she could. We had no clue they would bomb the house. We had no warning, nothing. They planted explosives and detonated them. The doors flew off the hinges. The windows shattered and the walls collapsed. Others have similar stories. People here tell us dozens of houses have been damaged. This is the largest refugee camp in the occupied West Bank. It is overcrowded, so buildings are very close to one another. To reach the targeted house, Israeli soldiers destroy other homes. This time, the Israeli army says it was targeting an explosives lab. Although they destroyed it, witnesses say Israeli forces failed to arrest the two suspects. The army says the three Palestinians were killed when Israeli forces responded to gunfire. Balata residents dispute this, saying at least one of the victims was unarmed. This surveillance footage shows 32-year-old Ahmed Zaytoun was just leaving his house when he was shot and killed. The Israeli occupation doesn't differentiate between a civilian and an armed man. Palestinians' lives don't matter to them. The video shows how he ran away without posing a threat. For those who lost their homes and loved ones, however, the grieving has just begun. Nida Ibrahim, Al Jazeera, Balata Refugee Camp, the Occupied West Bank.